So Janesville, a Beloit couple awoke to storm damage that created quite a buzz. WIFR's Nathaniel Langley was there as a beekeeper recovered a hive from a fallen tree. While southern Wisconsin communities recover from Saturday's intense storm, the cleanup in one Beloit front yard focuses on protecting at least 20,000 bees. The phone went out, the TV went out, and uh, it was just really nasty. You couldn't see across the street for rain. In the Ford's front yard, their son chainsawed into a toppled tree, bringing more a buzz than a calm after the storm. There's a little knot where the branch used to be. It's about that big a hole, and they were just pouring out of that. The family had no idea a five-foot-long hive lived meters from their home. A beekeeper arrived by the afternoon to vacuum the honeybees from the hollow trunk. You don't want like a shop vac where it breaks their wings and legs and everything going in. It's got to be barely enough to pull them in. David's grateful for the post-storm discovery. He says the insects have yet to recover from roller coaster spring temperatures this year. We need bees to sustain everything that we basically have that needs pollination. Honey is the only thing that never, never spoils. There isn't many honeybees around and do the best we can do to save them. The beekeeper vacuumed about 15,000 bees in two hours, but the retrieval of another 5,000 pollinators continues into the week. Because the bee will still be there. And I, th I thought he was going to put a trap out there with the smell of a, the queen bee. They'll think she's in there, go in the box, and, and I take that box home and put them with the rest of them, and I go from there. David is nearly certain he recovered the hive's queen. Without her, honeybees produce new queens who fight each other right after birth until one is left. Amazing story, Nathaniel. Thank you very much. And Nancy and Bill, you saw there, are gearing up for their 65th wedding anniversary. They won't be surprised if one of the gifts is some honey from the recovered hive.